Welcome to Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the restoration. I'm your host, Stephen Peinecker, and I have a special co-host, Rebecca Biblioteca, is in the house. How are you doing today? I am well. This is an amazing location, Steve. I can't even believe this. I'm kind of overwhelmed. Yes, it's like just the tip of the iceberg in Brent Ashworth's shop. How are you doing today, sir? Doing great. How are you doing, Steve? Always a pleasure to hang with <laughs> yeah. my favorite homie. And one of the reasons I wanted to just shoot this little short segment sure. was, uh, of course, Let's talk a little bit about show and tell. How much are you enjoying uh, doing the show and tell segments for our audience? Oh, I love them. They're great. Yeah, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. Yeah, and it's just great yeah. because I don't know what you're going to show. Well, so we can't either. preview. I don't what either until about five <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> it's so the same boat. <laughs> it, exactly. And yeah. and one of the things you did tell me though that yeah. there's like a forty-five minutes special, forty-five well, minutes second. The, you want to the do three witnesses take a little longer. So we're gonna do. I don't know what it'll be forty-five minutes, but it'll be a little longer than what we. So it's gonna be something mm -hmm. three witnesses themed, yeah. about a forty forty-five minute special show and tell segment for our next uh, segments that we'll be filming. And, uh, and then we'll be, of course, doing our regular 20-minute segments as well. well. That's because I think I've got the only collection of the three signatures. They're all rare. Oh, wow. I mean, Harris is almost impossible unless you get a Mark Hoffman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, of course, you had a few from Mark Hoffman come in through here. I did have here. a few of his, yeah. <laughs> Just to think, used to think he was a buddy like I'm a buddy, right? Yeah, no, I, was, I don't know if we were buddies in that time. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. <laughs> I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be exactly... Uh, Buddy, buddy, if you know what I mean. Oh, I agree with that. That's yeah. Totally. That's great. I love it, Brett. I know my wife would agree with that. I think this yeah. is the first time someone on our uh, show, Steve, has said, he's trying to kill me. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think we've ever had a guest say that no. before. So no, I don't it's think certainly so. not about Mark Hoffman. That is, wow. So hey, I just wanted to ask you, Rebecca. So you, we just get a little quick tour of Brent's shop. shop. First of all, this is in uh, downtown Provo. Provo. What street is this on? Uh, it's University Avenue. at 65 North University Avenue. It's in Provo Town Square. And we're in what's called the underground. In fact, uh, across from me was where the only speakeasy in town was uh, back in the 20s, you know. So Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And even though it's just a small little room, this place is just packed with history. I just want to get your impression. This is the first time you've been here, Rebecca. What did you think about the tour you got today? Uh, I'm almost speechless. I mean, we literally are just a few feet in to the location. We barely have walked in the front door. And I think we should mention, Steve, what are you sitting in here? Oh yeah, that's this is the whole point. This is the, the big thing. I'm sitting in Brigham Young's rocking chair, folks. This is so awesome. It's a real honor and privilege to be sitting in this. We all got to try it out. And I have to say, it's amazingly comfortable for pioneer era furniture. It's incredible. But no, just the amount of amazing, everywhere you turn, there's just something incredible. And from all genres, a lot of church history things, and just casually pointing out, oh, there's that, and there's that. I just, I, I'm just, well, I, I like can't even catalog what I have here in my head already. And like I said, we barely scratched the surface. So this yeah. is amazing. If anyone's in the area here, you need to try to make a, an effort to come over. This is absolutely incredible. Living history right here. Well, I was going to mention, as I did to you guys, uh, Tim Ballard, my friend, uh, we're doing a, a talk together, um, second one in a series, American Covenant series, this coming Saturday will be on Lincoln in the Civil War. But he calls this my man cave, and I think that's probably... That Tim Ballard says description. this is a man cave, folks. That yeah. says something. The ultimate man cave. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we love about this place. It really is a cool thing. But more importantly, you know, I, 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 when I, I remember when I was visiting you in Sarasota, and I was uh, I spent some time with you, and I remember I got in my car and I was leaving, and I thought, you know, Brent is a collector, but then I realized I'm a collector as well. Mm -hmm. I'm a collector of interesting people, like you. So that makes that you're part of my collection, sir. And I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to do these segments. Uh, I, you know, I, it's just been a wonderful thing. And, well, and is... I know that you really, really love it. And of course, I get a lot of feedback from my audiences. That, when are you going to have another Brent Ashworth? <laughs> and uh, so I just want to let you know that you got a lot of fans out there. And we're very excited to let you know that starting in the next month or so, we're going to be releasing some more segments. And uh, are you excited about that? Thank you, my friend. I am very excited. Thank you. Okay. And then, of course, maybe we can even do a special segment even in Florida. What do you think? Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Sure. You go to, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, folks, yeah. just stay tuned. You know, you never know what Mormon book reviews, what's going to happen next. You don't know what kind of item he's going to put in front of the camera. No, <laughs> He might not even know until five minutes no, before. <laughs> and and that's, that's the fun. That's the fun about this because it also, it's great because, you know, I get to learn something. My audience gets to learn something. I get to ask questions, you know, like, oh, my goodness, like, this is what? You know, and it's just really cool to be able to share that with the audience because you are, 
you know, one of the most important collectors in America. And you are, you know, you, 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 you're a real, you're a national treasure, Brent. And I want to share that with my audience. So I want to thank you so much for, for sharing well, your life and your collection with us. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend, Thanks, thank my you. Friend. Yeah. And Rebecca, do you have anything to say? I know. It was so wonderful to meet you. And oh, this is you. absolutely nice incredible. Like too. I said, we barely scratched the surface. And I'm just completely, my head is spinning yeah. over these amazing oh, fun, artifacts. It's fun to have you guys down here. Yeah. Thanks for thank coming. You. Yeah, so I had Super Bowl Sunday, so we now get to, you know, we all get to get ready for the kickoff and everything like that. Folks, I just want to remind you, for those of you, uh, leave comments, uh, maybe suggestions of things you'd like Brent to talk about. Uh, also, uh, in the description, we're going to have links for PayPal, uh, as well as our MBR, MormonBookReviews.com, and uh, for our merch store, as well as Patreon, for those of you who'd like to financially support the channel. Also, we are on all the major podcast formats as well. Just remember the most important thing, folks, all the voices of the Restoration will be heard here on Mormon Book Reviews.